Good morning again. I was sitting here just thinking in between flights. By the way, this is an X-52. I've talked about it on the show a little bit. Um, that is an X-52 flight stick. So it's like pure awesomeness for, uh, for a simulator. There's more expensive ones, ones that people claim are better and all that. And I'm sure there are. But uh, this is my favorite. This thing is just magic. It's awesome. Anyway... Not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about raising the roof. What am I talking about? Well, I was just sitting here thinking, and I can't do it today because we got rain expected, but uh, one day, very, very soon, probably within the week, uh, I'm going to be putting up our tents. And it's just to get them up, let them air out, let that material flex a little bit. Uh, of course, check them over. I don't expect there to be any issues. It's Stays right in that closet in there in a climate controlled environment. No uh, rodents or anything like that to be concerned with or anything like that. So I'm sure it's perfectly fine. But here's the thing. And this is why it's important for you to do this. Any type. I mean it's true really with any material. But especially I'm speaking to any like petroleum based fiber material. Um which is what the tents, the tent I have anyway, is made out of. And I think it's probably Dacron that is actually the, uh, the name of the um, actual material that it's made out of. I believe that's probably Dacron. Nonetheless, here's the deal. And I always explain this in a way that people are like, that sounds weird. And that's fine because weird is true. So what happens if... You just let, especially a petroleum-based fiber product, just sit and you don't do anything with it. You get a condition, and it happens with any materials, but you get a condition called dry rot. And so what happens, especially with a petroleum-based fiber material, is it needs to be lubricated. And when I say that, I don't mean you need to put up your tent and go out there with a can of WD-40 and go spray in it. No, when I say it needs to be lubricated, it just needs to be put up. It just needs to be put up so that the material can flex around and move. And, and on that, you know, molecular, molecular level, if you will, um, those petroleum bases are rubbing around on each other. And they're rehydrating one another. They're re-lubricating one another. And so that's why you want to do that. And that's why if you let it sit, it will rot because it, it doesn't have that interaction with itself to be able to keep pushing those, um, those petroleum bases around to keep it fresh. It'll dry. It dries out. Just like cotton will dry out or anything else will dry out over a long, long period of time. When you remove all the moisture from any one of these fibers, it's going to fall apart. We call it rot, but it's going to fall apart. So anyway, all of this long bullshit just to say, hey, get out there and put your tents up. Check them out. Go over them. Make sure everything's in order. And uh, when you get it all packed up and brought back in, start on going through your batteries. And uh, it's probably a good time for that again, too. Go through and uh, check and recharge all your batteries. Check all your electronics equipment. You know, do the things that preppers should be doing. So anyway... Raise that roof, get those tents up, get them checked out, get all your gear in order, and uh, keep getting prepared. Shalom.